an under 70 kilogram fight fought under KWU full contact rules. And for those new to our Senshi setup and KWU, that's basically K1 rules. And I'm joined here on the commentary by an absolute legend, some would say the goat of kickboxing, Ernesto Hoost. Thank and you. Don't shrug your shoulders at me, Ernesto. No. <laughs> Man, you're a legend. And really, really, I'm humbled every time I do commentary with you. Oh, because, thank you, very much. you know, I feel like an imposter amongst you guys. No, but you're not. It is what it is. Yeah, so, exactly. it's not about us, no. it's about the fighters in the Absolute. ring right Absolutely. at the moment. And I've already mentioned in our previous fight just how the fighters are looked after and how sensational. Senshi is. Yes. We've gone from strength to strength. We're here now at Senshi 23 in a yeah. glorious setting here on the Varna Beach. Yeah. And the professionalism here is second to none. And even going back to the original Prides and K1s behind the scenes, they were fantastic events. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sure you'll agree it was chaos sometimes backstage. It was chaos, but also it was, of course, it was much bigger. Um, but uh, this is very well organized. And maybe they learned from from the K1 time. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But here we go, we have, where's my paperwork? Gregory Gotardi from France in the um, blue corner, and he's fighting Luke Alexander Wellen, Luke Skywalker from the UK in the red corner, who has come to do business. Yeah, he started very good. And uh, yeah, like you say, he started, he, he wanted to do business. And let me tell you something, he's, He's got uh, 57 wins, eight by K KO. He's okay. the I IKF world champion, the FIBA world champion. He's two times KGP world champion. So he's no stranger to danger, let me tell you. No. But he's very clear. Oh, oh, that was a lovely a right hook there. It looked like a down. Oh. I thought it was a down. It looked like the right hand that knocked him down. We'll see yeah. now because Gata if it was, Gatari won't be fully recovered. Well, now, maybe he is already, but it looked like a down. It's okay. It looked like he a knockdown. It, so, uh, Albert Kraus is closer to the action than us. Yeah, that's true. But whichever way, that will give Luke Wellen confidence. Yes, for sure. If you see your opponent, even if your opponent falls over, you, you think that's some kind of weakness. Yeah, but well, he's, he, he has felt uh, the, 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 power. the power of his own punch, so... So that's uh, and look Gregoire. Well Gregoire is looking a little bit more anxious now, a little bit more uh, careful. Well, look well in there. His combinations are crisp, sharp, yeah. and look painful. And his conditioning looks absolutely fantastic. And leading up the last couple of days, he really has been focused without being anxious and sapping his energy. Cool. He really, really is up for this fight. Well, it's uh, it's a good good opportunity, a good chance. Uh, there are many uh, fighters from here uh, who went to to a higher stage. So uh, it's everybody's watching, and the way he, he acts now, he 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 attacks, he counters, and yeah, he's here to do business. Yeah. And this is, it's the fight business, but it's also yeah. the entertainment business. Exactly. But we don't want any of this clowning around. We want to no. be entertained with real, full, yeah, fat fight action. Fights. Exactly. Now, Gattardi's having some success with that mm. left low kick mm -hmm. to the lead leg of Wellens, to, to the Wellens lead leg. Yeah. yeah. It's marked yeah. up. Some crisp, crisp straight punches there from Gattardi. And Gattardi's no stranger to the Senshi ring. And I felt in the past, maybe he yeah. takes a right, he took a right hand there from yeah. <laughs> Wellen. Oh, he took a few uh, right hooks. <laughs> and uh, maybe, because they are both south balls, but maybe he is not so much used to get the right hook uh, from the front side uh, because he is fighting more with, with, with orthodox fighters or something. But the right hook, he was, he was very, he looked like very vulnerable for the right hook. Yeah, and uh, Wellen over in his corner now, very calm and collected. Yeah. Just taking the time to recover. Yeah. Now, Gattardi in the past, 
We've seen him here before. He's yes. had success yep. and he's had defeat. Yep. He's a fantastic fighter a with a great fighter. heart, yep. but sometimes he takes a little while to warm up. And in a three-round fight, you just can't. You have no time. You have no time to no. to um, to warm up. Yes, yeah. you've got to feel your opponent out and get your range. Exactly. Well, let's see if he's he's warmed up now because I think he knows that he lost uh, the first round. So he's outgunned by Wellen for he sure. Started, he started right away, so that was good. And, and the lovely thing about Wellen is he punches from from different angles. Yeah. He's got hooks, screw punches, uppercuts, and he goes to the body as well. Yeah. That was nice by uh, by Gattardi. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, like I say, they're both southpaws, and uh, so they have no advantage in that. Uh, well, the, they've got no advantage. Maybe dis disadvantage. A disadvantage if they haven't been sparring <laughs> with a southpaw. Yeah, exactly, you know, but there are not so many southpaws because most of everybody is 90% uh, of the people is, is, is right handed. And actually, you might think, oh, nice body shot there from yeah. Wellen. You might think if you're, if you're fighting at this level, you, you'd bring some southpaws into your camp, but there isn't the money in, in kickboxing like there no. is in boxing, where you have no. a 12 week camp no. and you, f you, you farm in six southpaws to spar with. Yeah. It doesn't work like that in, in, no. in kickboxing at the moment. Well, not at this level. I mean, when you, maybe when you go to glory, it's something else. But uh, nice counter from Gattardi. Yes. But this level, it's not there yet. Let's hope it will happen uh, once. Because Senshi is doing very well. And Senshi is pushing the envelope for European kickboxing for sure. Well, especially I mean, in the Balkans. Right now, you see many former Senshi fighters uh, going going up. So uh, we had in one year six Senshi fighters went to glory, who lost, got lost. <laughs> yeah, I think it got lost. I mean, as I heard, uh, they they didn't uh, really mind about it, but yeah, it, I think it's a loss. It's a loss for Senshi. That you mean the fighters yeah. didn't lose, but no. it was a loss for Senshi. It's a loss for yeah, Senshi. Let's just clarify it's a game that. for the, it's a game for the fighters. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, I, I just would say here that Luke Wellen has just slowed down slightly. Well, Gregor uh, scored with a uh, with a uh, with a left low kick a few times already, and uh, yeah. maybe he gains a little bit more confidence. And he's avoiding Gotardi. You see, he is avoiding yeah. the hooks yeah. of Wellen. Again, there's that low so kick. Yeah, he have He has. He has taken four low kicks on that leg and look so at the leg look at the damage to the leg exactly yeah i'm not sure if it will slow him down maybe he's used to it but let's see uh, what happens and just that little skip of the legs from Gattardi there shows a bit of confidence i feel exactly oh round two is way different uh, than round one yes and Gattardi being much more aggressive now yeah well, very interesting, and we were talking too much to give a score for that first round, but I would say on paper, well, or, or on my unofficial mm. scorecard, that Luke Wellen was a 10-9 all day long on that first round. Yes. Coming into that second round there, yeah, it could I'd be possibly a give it a 10-9 to Qatar. Exactly. A round Either 10, 10 or 10-9, I think he was a little bit more aggressive and well, a little bit more leading. Ernesto, tell me, what do you yeah. think of judges scoring a 10-10 round? I hate it. Basically, I hate it, but when the rib difference is that small, I can understand that you that you do that. I, I, I would say, in my opinion, the only time I would score a 10-10 uh -huh. is if neither fighter deserves to win the round. Yeah, okay. But if they both had a good slug out, yeah. there must be something to separate them. But um, that is that is sometimes very difficult because they both sometimes they, the one does one thing and the other does the other thing. So yeah. I think it's difficult. But damage, control, yeah. um, aggression. Mm -hmm. So third. Oh, let's see. They uh, have round, to possibly. show themselves now. Uh, I hope that uh, the corner said uh, that uh, this is the round they have to show themselves. <laughs> And Gattardi here 
is, well, he's grown in confidence in this fight. I think he was uh, not put put out, uh, just not shocked, but at the, the f that first round, he felt the power of Luke Welland very early yeah. on. Yeah. And he just put him on the back foot slightly. That second round, he came back in confidence, yeah. leaps and bounds. Right. And he's a fantastically skilled fighter, I have to say. Yeah. There's that low kick again. Yeah, he, he scored a lot with a low kick. I don't know how uh, much that scores with the judges. Uh, because it's not only about the low kick, of course. But uh, looking at the clean shots, then he made more, more points than his opponent. Well, it's an interesting thing because if yeah. you're looking at um, scoring and damage is one of the factors, exactly. a low kick doesn't look like it's that damaging, but it's in, it can change the course of a fight. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and you can see, well, now he's blocking. But Gregoire is also pressing, putting more pressure now, looks like. He doesn't wait that long anymore. And look, well, and he's still aggressive. He still wants to come forward, but I think Gattardi might have worked him out. Yeah, well, he, he misses. Oh, oh, lovely right hand from Wellen. Yes. And again. again. <laughs> My goodness. But Gattardi took, him, took them well. Took them very well and came back with another low kick. And a combination. I mean, Wellen should, should feel that he hit him right, so he could put a little bit more, more pressure, but uh, maybe he's tired, I don't know. Oh, now they're going for it. Yeah, this is fantastic action yeah. here in the center of the century ring. And uh, you'd say that there. I remember my boxing trainer said, I'll give you one piece of advice. If you hit your, if you throw a punch and you land it, throw another one. Exactly. That's what I would do. <laughs> and here we go, exchanging punches. Gotardi really coming forward. But he's got to be careful because his hands are dropping when he comes in aggressively like yeah. that. And Luke, Luke Wellen Luke is dangerous with a hook. Yeah, but he's not, he's not uh, taking advantage of it yet. And he still have, he have only 20 seconds to go. So uh, let's see what's happening. Those knees and the body kicks not landing from Gattardi, although... But Gattardi's a little bit more aggressive now. And looks Last like Wellen is maybe, maybe a little bit more tired now. That's what it looks like. What a fight. Interesting fight. Oh, that low kick, you Good see that kick. just- Yeah, that hurt him. That just buckled the knee of Luke Wellen. Well, well, well. Do you know what I'd love to see is a fourth round? Yeah, well, <laughs> and, it uh, could be. It could be. It could be uh, a draw. Well, 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 what a fight. Yeah. Full credit to Gregor Gotardi there who absolutely came back with a vengeance. And I've got to give him that final round, 10-9. I'm not saying we won't go to an extra round. I'm not sure. But it's I think uh, it's two rounds it to one be, it to could be, It could be uh, an extra round. And it's interesting. Look over in the corner of Luke Well and Ernesto. They're putting extra Vaseline on. I think they... Okay. They're... Yeah. Well, which is actually great yeah, well, to prepare a, for a fourth round. Could be an extra round. It was a good fight. And uh, let's see what the judges... Uh, and that was a testament to the matchmaking here. Judge yeah. Number one, at Senchi. 29 to 28 okay. in favor of the red corner. So okay. Luke Wellen wins that first, first round. Two. 29 to 29 oh. as a draw. A draw okay. for the second round, interesting. Three, 28 to 29 for a split decision in the winner, red corner, Matus Yeah. Oh. Well, I could understand it, but I can understand it was it. really, really, really close. I'll be interested to speak to the judges to see how they felt it went in yeah. Luke Wellen's way. Yeah. Now, it was definitely close, whichever way you look at it. And yeah, the well, power and aggression was coming from Luke Wellen. From Luke, yeah. I think that the cleaner shots came from Luke. 
the cleaner hits came from Luke. That, but you that's can what see I how you can see how disappointed Gattardi is there. Of course, because the difference cannot be, could not be. Of the difference was not big, and couldn't be big also. And uh, it's yeah, just from which angle does the, the referee look at it? The the, judge the, the look judges. The judges, yeah. And that, yeah. it's interesting you say that. That's a very very valid point. Yeah. That we have three judges on three different sides of the ring. Exactly. And we're viewing this from one side. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, different angles can give you a different viewpoint. I mean, I it doesn't hurt to disagree with the judges. 